So this is a little late, but here's a video about the contraptions in the level Dummy Town USA. Uh, this was basically a remake parody thing for Defenders level for my Australian mates. So another country joke. Uh, right at the beginning is a bit of a setup. When you hit this on off switch, a one up will fall onto a note block pushing this thwomp over by one space, which puts it on this note block and it immediately hits this seesaw down, catapulting this launcher up to block you. That down off switch also makes this spring hit a shell, hitting a pow, killing both the piranhas. Uh, then when you get to this section, you won't be able to see down there, but you can see a muncher go behind the bonsai bill. And down here is a cloud on a track with a spike top to push it up under there just in time to kill you. Over here, I have a, this little setup to make the boot fall into the claw. When over here, these two pipes, the shell and spring spawns, opening up this so you can fall all the way down here and see that you needed to actually get the boot and Z out the bottom. Uh, over here, this is literally just a chain chomp in a note block. If it has a platform, like just one block space below it, it'll fly out really high and it'll go up into this kind of weird looking thing and get stuck. Then this is the pipe to CPU one. It's just a bomb with a block on a track that I uh, cut out the space for for some reason. Up here, this left note block doesn't do anything. It's just to kind of scare you and maybe make you stay underneath the switch. Uh, this is actually two conveyors with a note block under the saw that will get hit as soon as you hit that, putting the P-switch out, and crushing you with it. Over here, uh, behind the skewer, I have two on-off switches, some blocks, and a one-way. The one-way and blocks are so that you can't take, the, take a mushroom through, and you also can't hit the switches early and find out that they exist. Right here, there's a centered launcher next to this switch. That's just so that jumping into the switch with the block blow, it won't soft lock you and you still will only be able to hit this once ever. And that needs to be the case because when you come through this door, you could have the switch in either state. That's actually part of the troll is that you'll be here, you'll have the P switch and you'll think, oh, which state do I need to have the on off switch in? And you could pick either of them and then you'll hit the P switch, go in the door and just fall to your death because it really mattered what the P switch was doing. Uh, up here, I have a second P switch get activated. That's so that if you come through, if you try to wait for the just near the end of the P switch to come through here, it'll just hit a second one and still kill you. Uh, not a great solution to that, but it works. Here, I have these two launchers are at the top of the screen, and they are on two sets of on off blocks. That's just so that they'll. They'll fall down when you hit this switch, no matter which way the switch is set when you enter the room. Uh, this boot is also slightly closer to the muncher than it was in Defender's original level, because that way you can stomp in the left side hole and actually kill it, which wasn't possible in the original level. Right here, I have a on-off switch get triggered as soon as you hit the switch, as soon as you hit the P-switch. That's so it's in the right state for later. This muncher is just half spawn blocked and the, the spring is sitting on it. It'll just fall the first time. Behind this is actually a spike. So if you have the boot, you'll stand on it. And if you don't, then nothing happens and you just die. Over here. So this is the pick a vine set up. 
it's supposed to look like you'll have the P active, have to go to a vine, and then the, wait it out, and then wait for the spiny to hit the other piece which you can get out. But what really happens is that there's a poison mushroom up here on P switch, or on coins. Uh, it'll hit one of these note blocks depending on which vine you pick. There has to be a space in between the note blocks because the poison mushroom is actually pretty bad at following you. So if you look, if I move here, it'll go a bit further. Uh, but it's close enough that if it doesn't land directly on a note block, it'll fall in between them, then jump up onto the note block that's directly above you and still hits you. And you can actually hear the poison mushroom jump sound effect if that happens and it might give away what's going on. Then here there's a thwomp off screen that hits a pow. That's so that I can have this muncher next to the pipe. And that muncher only exists so that this looks the same as over here where it's copied and I got the shell over to the side. You'll go into the pipe. Then this section, it says CP2 right here, and this is actually based on the ending launcher ride from Defender's level. Except there's actual trolls here this time. So right down here, it's the launchers are in two clown cars that are between track blocks, pushing them over. Then I have switch blocks here which get triggered by this on-off switch setup. It doesn't work because I'm spawning it in the wrong position. But it'll set off the switch once, this will fall and hit it immediately again. That kills the left launcher. Sure. And this clown car up here, so you have just enough time to dodge the fireball. You can actually get out of this fireball hitting you by holding left or right. It's only if you stand still that you'll get hit by it. Then the thing lining up over the checkpoint was actually an accident. I just had the tracks ending in the right spot for the launcher to stop and fall. And then that happened to be halfway between blocks, which doesn't look like it covers a checkpoint, but actually does. Then this fake picador right here only exists so that you can respawn the room and actually get the checkpoint. What the Right here is just a buzzy beetle that falls and a bomb on a track lined up. Up above here, this swamp is what hits the P-switch to open up the way to the CP1 door. Uh, it'll only fall when you jump towards these spikes and it has a cloud beneath it so it'll have to fall twice before actually hitting anything. This bomb is just loaded when you get past, when you get to around here, the bomb on tracks will load and it'll hit that and push you in. Uh, I have another bomb next to it. That's so the first time you come in here from the launcher ride thing, the big bomb will kill the little bomb so it won't come down and break the blocks early. Then, once you go in the CP1 door, it leads to... Uh, up here. And you'll get put into this skull coaster, pulled across, and the other skull coaster, and the platform. This is... Well, this falling platform, th most of this setup is just for fun, but it also has a purpose of forcing you into this pipe, which is actually the exact same pipe that you go through to originally get the first checkpoint. But this time, it's a CP1 because you're further along. And here, this room's pretty simple trolls. Carl read this wrong, it says I ran out of and then dot 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 and then down here it says floor and it looks like a pit but these platforms save you unless you're all the way at the right. But yeah, it's just I ran out of floor 
and it's a joke because the other one was I ran out of doors and it rhymes. When you, if you come down here with a power up, you won't be able to hit yourself and I just have a muncher over here to hit this P-switch from all the way across. This cannon, the block right there is to despawn this cannon. That's so if you hit, if you're trying to be smart and hit the P-switch, switch will small and then go in the pipe. You'll get blocked by this coin and then killed by the launcher. Over here I have a bunch of these setups uh, with two pipes releasing P-switches into munchers. That's to keep the P-switch active but also to trigger the sound effects. The effects continuously and keep the colors messed up for the mushroom troll. So what happens here is you come up, look at the mushrooms. The mushrooms spawn like this. So two blocks fall and then the mushrooms come down in that spot. I'm actually going to change this slightly as so you can see it. So you'll see these mushrooms come down and the red one is on the left. Then you go over here and hit the piece with the blue stone in this area. The blocks crush the old mushrooms, and then the new mushrooms that only spawn when the piece which is active will fall down into place. And that's why this tall, uh, weird shaped section exists. So while you're climbing back up these donuts, the uh, replacement mushrooms are falling down and landing in the spot. Right here is just a really simple skull platform under this mushroom and launchers. And then I have a goal is right behind that saw. The pipe is fake. And I have a whole bunch of sound effects right there. And all of those sound effects, all of those sound effects are there to mask the fact that you actually got the end. This troll is, it looks like a original section, but this troll is actually a reference to Defender's level as well. It's, well, in the end of Defender's level, he had a single sound effect that would kind of somewhat hide the fact that you collected the flagpole. So here I was like, well, since that doesn't work anymore, since an update broke that part of the level, uh, this troll is to hide the gold collection properly again. So there's a ton of sounds. And you can barely hear that you actually collected anything and it looks like you're just falling into the pit. That's... basically this entire level.